Hello, I'm Bruce McDaniel. I'm the chaplain at here at Otterbein St. Mary's and we're out on Worship Island today. I'm going to share with you a message of hope. Uh, we're only a few days from Easter and I thought I would share with you some words from Matthew, the 28th chapter. Now after the Sabbath, toward the dawn of the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb and behold, there was a great earthquake. For an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone and sat upon it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothing white as snow. And for fear of him, the guards trembled and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen, as he said. Come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead, and behold, he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him. The words I want to share with you come out of this short uh, piece of scripture, and, and the, one, the first one is that, that the angel tells the women not to be afraid, and so I think that's a word to us, not to be afraid. Uh, fear is the enemy of trust, it's the enemy of progress it's the enemy of action and I think fear is to be moved through not avoided fear is something that we don't want to be frozen by the women could have been frozen but the angel said hey move on move past that don't be afraid and the message right after that was then since you're not going to be afraid go and tell someone go and tell the disciples share this hope that what you have seen has happened. Share this hope with others. So maybe you can help them. Maybe you can bring them hope. And maybe in your telling, they can also return the sense of hope to you. And the third and last thing about this scripture that I think is a hopeful message is that it says that you are to tell the disciples to go to Galilee, and there you will see Jesus. Go to Galilee and there you will see him. What that says to me is that Galilee was where it all began. And so the angel is telling them, go back to the roots of things. Go back to the things that are important to us. The things that bring us the most joy. The things that are significant in our lives. Go back to the root. And the other thing it tells me is that when they go back to Galilee, Jesus is already going to be there. And so in anything in our life, in any difficulty, in any strife that we have, Jesus is already there, and he's waiting for us to come to him. I hope that this message of hope goes out to you, and you hear the words that will inspire you this Easter season. Thank you.